I'm Mike. And I'm Gail Tucker. And we're mad about marriage. Solomon wrote in scripture that a nagging woman was like a drip, drip, drip. Boy, that's the truth. <laughs> it's like Chinese water torture. <laughs> but I also have news for you. What's that? A nagging man is also like a drip, drip, No, wait drip. a minute. Men don't nag. It's women that nag, right? No. Everybody tends to <laughs> nag at times. But so. the thing about nagging is it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. In fact, it usually produces just the opposite of that which you desire. If, in fact, you nag, your spouse is more likely to say, you think this is bad? Get a load of what's coming next because I'm not giving in to your nagging. So it's not only futile, yeah. but it's a destructive way to communicate. So why is it so destructive? Why is it a negative thing? Because it's saying to you, you don't measure up, hmm. you're not good enough, I have to fix you, I have to just keep telling you because you may, maybe you're not even smart enough to do it on your own. Basically it's saying, I have to parent you. Mm -hmm. It puts someone in the position of a parent giving instructions now repeatedly to their spouse as though they're speaking as, as a parent to a child, and that's very destructive. So what are we going to do about it? If you tend to nag, yeah. one of the first things that you can do is just take a look at what this issue is. How important is it really? Is it something that you could let go? Mm -hmm. Or is it something that actually needs to be addressed? And if it needs to be addressed, how do you address it? Then you make a respectful request without criticizing. When you include any form of criticism with the request, it's a portion of nagging. It's a form of nagging. So you talk about your feelings, why this is important to you, why it's necessary, and then you respectfully request that your mate respond to that. And then you leave it alone. You leave it alone. You, you don't, don't go back after it. That's right. And, you know, and in that waiting period to see what response you're going to mm -hmm. get, give it to the Lord and ask God to make the changes in your spouse for you That's rather right. than you thinking that you can do it by nagging. That's right. Now, if you are the recipient of nagging, mm -hmm. one way to help fix this is to respond to your, your spouse in a timely manner, especially if they're making the effort to change their behavior so it's not nagging. You need to reward that change by responding in a timely manner. And if you can't do it immediately, you say, you know what, I'm willing to do this. I can't do it right away, but I will do it by, and then you give a time so that you put their mind at ease. They don't have to worry about this anymore. It puts your relationship in terms of respect. That's right. So let's turn off the drip That's and right. stop the nagging.